The massive $130 billion JobKeeper scheme has now passed, but many workers, like casuals, say they don't qualify. Unions and industry experts are now speaking out, claiming the monster stimulus package does not go far enough. It's just an email saying, hey, this is what's happening, sorry, there's nothing we can do. I'm definitely in limbo, very stuck in the middle. I don't really feel like there's like any options for me right now in terms of like what I can do financially. And I never expected that this is gonna happen in Australia with me. Are you worried about losing your home? Yes, of course. Aussie workers facing an uncertain future in uncertain times. Do you think that it's confusing for everyday people? They had to uh, pull this package together in a week and inevitably there are gonna be uh, wrinkles when that happens. Many businesses have been given an incredible lifeline by the federal government. They'll be given $1,500 per fortnight per eligible employee to help pay the wages of six million people. But what about the workers who have fallen through the cracks because they don't fit the criteria? It was just absolutely insane that in the span of a couple days, just everything, it's just done. Amy Taylor is one of up to 1.1 million casual workers who have worked for less than 12 months at a business and aren't entitled to the JobKeeper scheme. I do feel a bit left out as, you know, it's not our fault that we haven't been working there for the mandatory 12 months to apply for that. She says her only option is to get job seeker payments from Centrelink, around $565 a fortnight as she's single with no kids. Come April 27, that'll increase by $550 a fortnight, still less than JobKeeper payments. I do feel like I am competing with the rest of the country, but I understand why they are as desperate as myself. It's just like a huge chunk of people that have no support right now. Beatrice Tucker once worked as a casual at a fashion store. Now she's wondering how she'll pay her bills. Everyone I know works casually and it's really scary to see everyone in your life struggling with being able to pay rent. Australian Council of Trade Unions President Michelle O'Neill says around 900,000 workers on temporary visas aren't covered either, but they should be able to access some form of assistance in these extraordinary circumstances, especially as excluding them hurts the businesses who employ them. This is what's going to be good for everybody. Save lives, save jobs, save the economy. Prime Minister Scott Morrison had this to say. At this time, Australia must focus on its citizens and its residents um, to ensure that we can maximise the economic supports that we have. Yes, I feel uh, forgotten, yes, definitely. Recently stood down disability worker Jay thought he'd be eligible for the JobKeeper scheme, but his not-for-profit employer is claiming they don't meet the requirements. Their turnover would have to have fallen by 15% or more. Mm, I have no idea. I, do, I have no idea, even I don't have that much uh, savings, like, you know. So, uh, God knows uh, what's going to happen tomorrow. Economist Stephen Hamilton. The most important thing about this policy is that people have confidence. That people have businesses and employees have confidence to know that the government will have their back over the next few months. Michelle O'Neill believes when it comes to money, businesses won't be getting enough. She wants payments under the JobKeeper scheme to be increased from 70% of the median wage. $1,375 a week. So that is what we think is a reasonable amount. That's equivalent to the sort of amount that's been given under Boris Johnson in the UK. While Stephen Hamilton would prefer a more targeted approach. If you earn less than $1,500 a fortnight before, you're actually going to get a big pay rise. Right, because you have to get at least $1,500. But if you're on a higher wage, then the firm is not being given enough money to cover your wages. So there will be a lot of people on incomes above $1,500 per fortnight whose employers will cut their wages because they, they aren't being covered for the whole amount. I'm keeping my head up. I am applying for other jobs, keeping an eye out for Coles and Woolworths and really anyone who may be desperate for staff in this time. Amy says she has applied for quite a few jobs but hasn't had any callbacks just yet.